election news now and a political slugfest ahead of Karnataka elections. The opposition Congress and JDS are at loggerheads with the ruling BJP following the Gujarat milk brand Amul's entry into the Karnataka market. Now, the two parties have leveled allegations against Prime Minister Modi and Amit Shah of looting Karnataka. As Karnataka heads to polls on May 10th, a war over milk ahead of elections since Gujarat-based Amul announced its launch in Karnataka market. The Congress and the JDS are at loggerheads with the Bomai government for allegedly destroying local brand Nandini. As the chorus to boycott Amul products grows louder, the opposition accused the ruling BJP for betraying the farmers of Karnataka. Nandini, she is our milk. We have to use her, we have to help our farmers. Because the farmers are not getting proper price, we should help them. It will be deployed. It is Canada pride, Karnataka pride, Karnataka farmers pride. It is our land. So all the, we have to protect our farmers. What they are trying to uh, send, uh, bring Amul here, it is a very shame on this. I never expected Bombay would betray the fame of farmers of uh, Karnataka. In the backdrop of the raging Amul versus Nandini controversy, leader of the opposition Siddharamaya flayed Prime Minister Modi in a series of tweets questioning whether the Prime Minister's visit was to loot Karnataka. While there's strong opposition from the farmers community and hotel association, the Chief Minister accused the Congress and the JDS of politicizing Amul's entry. <laughs> See, the mindset of the Congress is such a cheap way, very lower way. They can ready to accept the product of the China, but they don't want to exp uh, accept the product of India. What we think that we make our Nandini as a global brand. Every nook and corner of this world, they want to prefer for Nandini. Okay. The Amul versus Nandini debate has been a raging controversy since Amit Shah inaugurated the dairy farm in Mandya in December 2022. His statement that Gujarat and Karnataka can work for the welfare of the milk producing farmers of the whole country kicked up a storm, triggering a political slugfest and a campaign to save Nandini. At first, it was an announcement by Mr. Shah on the merger of Amol and Nandini. And later on, it became the imposition of Hindi on curd packets manufactured locally. And now the BJP says the Congress is building a narrative against the ruling dispensation BJP for killing the livelihoods of the farmers and also killing the brand Nandini. Even despite the uproar, uh, you know, whether that is Hotel Association or Farmers Association, we see that the BJP has turned around and accused the Congress of building up a narrative instead of, in fact, allowing Amul to enter the market. In Bengaluru with Kumar Shija for NDTV.